Okay, this news was announced a while ago, but I still want to talk about it. A long time ago in a video I don't particularly like, I ranted about Jason Aaron's most recent Punisher run, and in it I said I enjoyed it and would make a review of the whole series once it had concluded. Well, it did, and it had such a disappointing and terrible ending, I, didn't, I just didn't want to talk about it. It ended with Punisher's wife berating him for being the Punisher and revealing that she's pregnant, and Punisher teleports to War World, or whatever it's called, and renounces the Punisher and ending the war and only going by Frank Castle, which is dumb for a variety of reasons. Jason Aaron also retcons that Punisher's wife said, I want a divorce before they got killed, which is a retcon similar to what he did in Punisher Max, where it's revealed that Punisher told his wife that he couldn't be a family man and wanted to leave right before they all got massacred. It added this level of guilt and tragedy to everything, while, while this did nothing but just serve the character of Punisher's wife, who might as well be brain dead most of the book. It was such a pathetic ending to a book I kind of liked up to that point. It felt like Aaron didn't know what he wanted to do and it just ended with a whimper. But the point is Frank Castle is no longer the Punisher. Recently at San Diego Comic Con, which is a joke at this point, <laughs> Marvel announced something new with the Punisher. The Punisher is coming back, but it's not Frank Castle, it's some guy named Joe Garrison. A retired S.H.I.E.L.D. Black Ops agent who was brought back into the action after his past rears his ugly head. He also uses laser guns instead of real guns. Basically, they made him a fed. They really put create a new character to be the Punisher into chat GPT and it just spat this thing out. Wait, 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 wait! Joe Garrison. Joe Garrison. Joe Garrison. Joe Mama. Hell, look at this design. He looks like Eminem dressed up as Bruce Wayne's Punisher. They didn't even have the decency to replace him with a black woman or something. It's just a white Eminem looking dude, which is funny because Eminem once met the Punisher. Now that's a comic book. I ain't got a house full of your pictures and posters, man. I'd do anything for you, anything. It's dumb. I don't like the idea of Punisher being a title. Actually, there are at least two Garth Ennis storylines that dismantle the idea of someone else being the Punisher. And welcome back, Frank. We have three characters. One is a priest, the other is a political revolutionary type guy, and the other is a white rich guy and doesn't like people being in his neighborhood. And they meet each other and are like, hey, we're all like the Punisher. Let's become a team and get the Punisher in. And at the end of the book, the Punisher finally meets them and he hates them because one's killing for religious reasons, one's killing for political reasons, and one's killing for racial reasons instead of objective moral reasons. And he kills all three of them. There's another book called Widowmaker, which is way too dense to get into a video like this, but it's it pretty well lays out the idea of becoming a revenge fuel monster like Frank only brings sorrow and the only person who can really handle the Punisher is Frank. It's also just a very heart-wrenching story and one of Garth Ennis's best works. Now, Garth Ennis is not writing Joe Garrison. Some guy I've never heard of named Deb Paposi who makes furry comics is writing it. I don't know, maybe he's a good writer. I haven't read a single thing this guy's made. And I know Joe Garrison is not permanent and this is just a stunt. They'll have maybe 14 issues at most with this character and they'll bring Frank back and Joe Garrison will be called Rivet Head or Master Kill or something. But Marvel's complete mishandling of what in my opinion is their best character is depressing. The character has become so politicized that Marvel's scared to touch it, even the skull, let alone Frank Castle. With this and the American Psycho comic that's coming out, the industry is still dying artistically while revamping financially. Last great comic release within the past five years or so was Punisher Soviet. The story of Punisher teaming up with a former Russian soldier and taking down war criminals was in one word, fantastic. It dealt with pain, nationalism, and friendship in a way only Garth Ennis could. The comic concluded with Frank going to a bar and taking a drink for his fallen friend. A man he didn't know all that well, but as he says, he kind of knew how he felt. He takes the drink and walks off. This is where the Punisher ends for me. Not with Frank dying or quitting the Punisher. The story ends with him walking off into the void to continue his war. I don't know. I don't like Marvel. I don't like what they're doing to my favorite character. But, I don't know. Go read the good Punisher comics. All the Garth and the stuff's amazing. Anyway, update time. Yeah. There will be more Deaton Potato Man podcast episodes. 
but I don't want this channel to just be podcast discussions. I want there to be more regular videos where they're more edited. I've been thinking about putting all the podcasts on a separate channel, but this does those they do equal more content to my channel, so I'm conflicted. But remember, if you don't want to listen to them, you don't have to listen to them. I'll try to put out more of the content people actually like and help grow my channel. Anyway, thank you. I've been Deet. I'll talk to you later. Go read The Punisher. You should at least have pancakes on the menu until 1045.